Hello, this is Jones10395 with another Airsoft video, not really a review, but here, this is my MP5A4, if you haven't already seen the review, you can check that out if you want, but I'm showing you how to make a homemade suppressor, I'm not really going to show you how to make it, I'm just going to show you how it looks, and tell you what I used and how I did to make it. Well, first of all, this is black PVC. You're not really going to find it anywhere. You're going to have to spray paint yours, probably. But, so, I didn't have to spray paint mine because it already came black. I got it from a lamp set. It had, like, two different things. You could use poles and stick those in the ground, or this. And my parents used the poles, so I just took this out of the box and made suppressors out of it. So, now, mine, I forced on this. Um, and this already has a the threads on it uh, from the factory. I didn't buy anything for it, and I just kind of stuck it on there. You can take it out. I just didn't feel like it because it's kind of hard to put on. But here's what it looks like without the suppressor. Um, here's the suppressor. This is about six inches long. Um, now what I did to make it was I used a well, I'll tell you it. I put probably about an inch or three quarters of an inch of PVC right there, like long, like long wise, probably that much is how I put. So three quarters of an inch, like I said, and then if you can see that blue stuff, that's a blue pool neuter, noodle, noodle. I don't know why I can't talk today, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it actually does very well to absorb the really the air, not really the sound, because I've got a lot of comments in my other videos for suppressors that you're never going to be able to silence a electric airsoft gun. I know that. But when you're shooting someone from 200 feet away, they're not going to hear the click of the gearbox. The only reason you think they're going to hear is because when you're using your sights, you're right next to the gearbox. So that's the only thing you're probably gonna be the only one who's gonna hear it unless you're like right next to someone inside a building but other than that they're not gonna hear you because this really does a good job like I said from 200 feet away they're not gonna hear you but anyways my old suppressors I made I just did this I drilled a bunch of holes in PVC and I put foam in this little layer right here so it was single chamber um, single chamber and then foam on the, on the, in between the two PVCs. But in this, I just did all foam and no PVC on the inside apart from this. And then I have more of that over here for this to put on the MP5. But, yeah, I had a two chamber one. This is single chamber, by the way. If you don't know what a chamber is, it's where, uh... If you know what a real suppressor is, you don't know what a chamber is. But there's like a buffer or a ring or like a wash or something. I don't know what the name is, but it's like this. In an airsoft suppressor case, foam, a spacer, foam, spacer, foam. And it just goes all the way out and it does a really good job of suppressing it. But I just did chose to do single chamber because that was too complicated and I just didn't feel like doing it. Uh, if you can see through there. No, you can't. Oh, yeah, there you go. Alright, well, anyways, I'll show you the sound difference. You're probably not going to be able to pick it up on, um, on the computer, but hopefully you can. I'm going to shoot this into a pillow. Uh, I'll put this Snuggie in front of the pillow so it doesn't go into the pillow. Good enough. Alright, well... Alright, here is the MP5 without the suppressor. Right. Just off for fresh charge. Alright, hopefully you can remember what that sounds like. This is counterclockwise, so it's probably going to take me a while to get it on. Alright, I got it. Wish they made their guns have less threads, because this takes a long time. Alright. Got it on. Now hopefully you can remember what it sounds like with suppressor.
I can hear a difference. I don't know if the computer can, but yeah. So this is it. I think that was about six or total shots. Alright. Well, that's it. Uh, I'm doing another video, probably the next five minutes I'll be doing it, of my homemade foregrip. This isn't homemade. This is a vertical foregrip. This is the foregrip on the MP5. It's got rails on it. I didn't feel like buying one, and I didn't really like the ones they had on sale. So I cut up my old spring MP5, my first ever airsoft gun. I got it like probably 40 years ago. I just cut off the foregrip. I drilled my own holes, and well, that's a whole nother video. But look out for that. It's probably in related videos. I uh, hope you like this. Please comment and subscribe.